Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a tutorial using the new Juvia's Place their Wahala palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is bomb. Look at it, it is gorgeous. It is sexy, okay? Like this is different than what Juvia's Place has kind of done. Well, it is because they have the press glitters, okay? So it is a little different in that sense. Y'all know I love Juvia's Place so much here on my channel, like so much that I had did a whole video showing my entire collection of Julius Place pal palettes, okay? And clearly, you guys still watch that video till today because I be getting comments on it still. What just happened? I still get comments on that video and I and I know when Juvia's Place is having to sell because I always get a lot of comments and I'm like, oh, they must be watching videos because you're trying to figure out what they wanna buy. And so, since that video was so helpful, I've been really contemplating doing my collection again because since then, they have launched like way more palettes, okay? I'm gonna put, if I could find a picture of the old thumb, now I'll show you guys what it was and what it is now, okay? So if you guys would like to see me redo that video, um, let me know down below because I really want to. Um, I feel like I still probably will, but I wanna make sure that y'all actually gonna watch it because it's awkward when you post a video and like nobody watches it. It's like. Wow, that was a waste of time. <laughs> and this palette is limited edition, you guys. So they are currently sold out from what I last when I last looked at their um, Instagram page, but they do plan on doing one more restock of this palette. So if you did not get your hands on this the first time around, make sure you guys uh, you know put their notification on for their page and follow them because you know you want you want to get it, okay? But yes. Let me stop talking. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you're not yet following me. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. And also, thank you guys so much for 15K. We hit 15K yesterday on Sunday, the Lord's Day. Hallelujah. Yes, we hit 15K, so thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I have my brows partially filled in. I usually don't do the front until the end of my makeup just because I don't want to mess it up. And I also have my eyes primed using the Anastasia Eye Primer. I love this stuff. Love it. I wish it still came in a jumbo size, but um, it only comes in mini. So once I finish this big one, <laughs> I think it's a small size. My lips have been like chapped like crazy these past couple of weeks. So I'm just going to take my Dior Lip Oil, which you guys, like, I freaking love this stuff. Like, I'm out. Like, oh my gosh. I think I want to buy the rose lip color next. I don't know if this this does anything for hydration, but my lips be looking popping. Okay, they be looking juicy. So let's actually do what you guys came here for, which is this palette, <laughs> the Wahala palette. Wahala, you want to say it all American? Wahala. Wahala means drama. I don't want your Wahala to do. This is what the palette looks like, you guys. It's so freaking pretty. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. This is the first ever palette that Juvia's Place has put out that has pressed glitters, okay? And it's also limited edition right now, so get your hands on it, okay? I have not swatched this. I have not done anything with this palette, and I've actually been looking at it for the past couple of days trying to figure out what I want to do, and I'm torn. Like, I really want to play with this glitter color, but then I really want to wear that green, and I like want to make like a certain color scheme, but it's like, I do, I feel like I do green all the time. Like I've done green, I, my last tutorial was a green look. So you know what, no. I don't wanna do green. I do wanna play with that color, but I do wanna use that that glitter. I'm torn, but I'm gonna just jump right on into the color Ovasabi, this color. And we're gonna put this in our crease. Ooh. Okay, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Okay, so the reason I'm even excited about this shade is because colors like this, they I feel like I have to do a lot of work to build up this like mustardy color on my skin tone. And the fact that I'm not having to is crazy. Like, I just love Juvia's Place so much. Like I love them so much. Oh my gosh. I just, I just, I just realized, I just looked at this and realized they have a black in here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you so freaking much, cause black is essential. 
All right, so I think I figured out what I want to do. I just looked and I was like, I have a vision. So I'm actually going to go into the shade BU, this color right here. We're just going to jump right on into this. I really want to play with Busy Body, um, but not today. So I'm going to go into the shade BU next. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sipple. Oh, Jovia, 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 Jovia. Whichever way you want to be called, this too much. Yes, yes. Y'all, so Sephora has opened back up, and um, yeah. <sighs> I actually, I think I'm the one of the few people that actually enjoyed quarantine. I felt like I just really just needed that break. Like, I mean, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate what happened, um, especially the people who lost loved ones, people who lost their lives, who passed away due to this coronavirus. Honestly, like this whole thing has just been so sad and it's really just kind of like inconvenienced a lot of people's lives. Um, but with every negative thing, I try to find a positive out of it. And I would say, even though it was annoying, like not being able to live life as normal, I would say that this that two month break of me not having to go to work and me staying home really was just like I like it was it was it was good. It was good for me. Like I love I, I liked it. And it's kind of it's been weird now that like I live in Texas, by the way, um, Houston, Texas, and. It's been kind of weird with um, things opening back up because, you know, it takes like 21 days to form a habit. And I most definitely formed a habit of being at home. Like I grew to like it. Um, I've always been one of those that kind of likes being at home. I can definitely be a loner. I know I come off very like um, eccentric, just, you know, full of life, but I actually enjoy being alone. I love living alone. I, I like I really do like my alone time and I felt like I got plenty of it. And then the minute I started playing The Sims again, because I haven't played The Sims in years, oh, it, it was a wrap. Like I was like, I'm I'm okay if y'all need to extend quarantine. But uh, my job called me back saying, yeah, um, it's time to come back. I was like, oh, oh okay. Well. There was that. Now I'm just placing this color. It looks very sloppy, but we're gonna be cutting this anyway. So it really doesn't matter if this is getting lower. It's really this top part that I'm trying to like create a, a certain look for. Like I really have this look in mind and I'm hoping that this is not a fail because if it is, that's gonna be really awkward. I'm like, wow, like you just wasted your time doing that, sis, you know? Now I have been contemplating redoing my um, Juvia's Place palette collection. I don't know if I wanna do it the same format that I did last time, but I feel like that video actually helped a lot of people out, even though it got, it got quite a few negative comments. Um, I feel like people didn't understand the purpose of that video, but this is, this is prime example. Uh, if you're not someone who's into color, if you're not really an artist, if you're not really, into all of that, like a palette like this, it's like, what, what do I do with it? And the thing is, I wouldn't say not get it, but I will say, um, I'm trying for the per for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to stick to this one palette and create a look with it. But ideally, or norm not ideally, normally I would probably grab something else. And if it just don't work out, I probably will grab something else. But it's kind of like that. Like I feel like that video really kind of helped narrow people's. Um, choices down because Juvia's Place, they have they have a lot of palettes. Actually, let me count. They have, they have a total of 24 palettes, okay? If you're someone completely new to the website or if you're, I don't know, you got a gift card for your birthday or something, it's like, well, I wanna get one thing or two things, like what do I get? I felt like that video was very helpful to help narrow down because, I mean, let's be honest, people like the one thing I have noticed at work is that people like for you to make a decision for them. Like I'll ask a client like, oh, what would you like in this X, Y, Z? And they're looking at me like, huh? Like, will you tell me what I get? Like, that's just really how people are. Like, like can you please narrow it down? Like, I don't know. Like, this is new to me. Like, this is like, I'm, I don't do this. So that was the whole point of that video. And thankfully a lot of people actually um, enjoyed it, even though it did get quite some negative comments. I feel like they just really didn't understand it. I don't think I made it clear in the video, but that was the whole point of it was 
to really help narrow down, well, to show my collection and then to also help narrow down for anybody who is interested in buying from Juvia's Place, like, you know, which palettes would you say are like the must haves, like you should really get, you know? All right, so this is where we're at. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease using the ABH eyeshadow primer. Okay, so crease is cut for the most part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, actually, real quick, before I even go into anything else, I'm gonna take, I wanted to take this, I think I'm gonna take this, and a little bit of, um, it's called Sis, right? Yeah, Sis, the black looking shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna curve this down like this. I feel like this right here starts to give the, ooh! It made the purple darker, kind of like what I, oh yes. It gave that like eggplant color. Ooh, yes, I like this much better. And I also think because I put it on top of a base as well too, it's probably making it darker. I'm hoping that I can pull together a look right now. I always do this though, like I, don't, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing things together, hoping that it turns out looking okay. And then in the end, somehow it really does end up turning out looking okay. And I'm like, this is only by the grace of God because child i sure didn't do it on my own it was a holy spirit it was navigating my hands and pick this color put this color together and make a creation you know a holy spirit you ain't never felt me yet you sure haven't and you never will so for the lid what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna go into the shade called power this where is it at why does that look green on camera crazy whoa wait a minute okay I don't know why this looks like it's green on camera but it should be like a really dark shimmery purple but it looks like a turquoise color like in the viewfinder which is weird let me swatch it before I put this on my eye and it's not what I expected it to be Yo, what the heck? Do y'all see that? Okay, so it's a dual, um, a dual chrome eyeshadow. Cause one minute it looks purple, and then I move my hand, and it's a green color. Oh, dang! Now I don't know what I want to do, cause that's not that was not part of the plan. The plan was to do. <sighs> I gotta go back to the drawing board, okay? Cause that was not a part of the plan. I was not expecting that to happen. I don't know if I wanna put this on my eye. This is not what I wanted. Oh my gosh, this is like straight up emerald. But like in person, like when I look down, it's like purple. <laughs> I'm over this, I don't wanna do this anymore. I wasted my time putting this purple on. Cause I thought I was gonna be able to do like a whole little cute purple look. And this palette was like, girl, you thought we're not gonna do that today. And I really, okay, I wanna, I for sure, I wanna use this clout shade right here. And yet again, this is another shade. In person, it looks like a royal blue and I can see dark purple reflex in there. But when I lift it up, it's like a different shade of blue. Like, okay, this palette is playing with my eyes. Like. This palette is full of drama, just like the name says, like it's full of drama. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into the shade Sis, like that black looking shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this here. Cause I wanna deepen this up so that way whatever color I do decide to put on my eyelid, it's like there's enough depth because those shades are just, that. this purple is not, it's not gonna do what I need to do. Okay, I'm having to like redo this whole look because like this is, it didn't go the way I expected. I'm gonna go into the shade Woke and I'm taking this brush that I used to put that um, Ovasabi shade on and I'm gonna put this in my crease um, to kind of just pink it up a little bit, I guess you could say. Even though this is like a lilac shade, I just want it to be a little bit more pinky looking. I'm gonna take the shade Envy, this purple color, duochrome color here. And I'm first gonna place this on the inner part of my eye. 
I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Unbiased, or I'm sorry, Unafraid. I don't know how I saw Unbiased. And it's just a darker purple, and I'm gonna fade it into this color here. Oh, this color's pretty. Oh my gosh, this is a pretty color too. Too major to get covered up, sorry. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my ABH eyeliner in Jet and I'm gonna go ahead and do, draw a wing on, throw some lashes on and then I'm gonna come back to put on the glitter. All right, you guys, so I took a little mini break. Um, I did my eyeliner, I did my lashes, and I took a break to cook. Look what y'all, your girl made. Mmm, okay, the top is a little burnt, but who cares, okay? So I made me a chicken sandwich at home, got me some little fries. I'm about to eat this and watch relationship goals if y'all watch my Todd catching up on yesterday's service and then I'm gonna be back to show you guys this glitter but I've been fasting for like a good I've been fasting for 18 hours and some change okay I'm hungry and I couldn't keep up with this video any longer so I'm gonna eat too, and nobody ever talked to you about how to have a relationship we're breaking that in the church we're gonna stand up and we're gonna talk about everything that God talked about oh my gosh y'all that sandwich was so freaking good <laughs> Like I literally inhaled my food, okay? I didn't even, I didn't even chew. I was, <sighs> what did they all got these crumbs in my lips. Okay, let's get back to this tutorial that is taking forever to finish. For glitter, I'm gonna actually go into the shade Clout. And to apply that glitter on, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Her Glitter Adhesive. Hey, can y'all let me know in the comments down below why so many people hate glitter and palettes like I don't know I don't know if I missed it but like I've noticed it now a couple of times with different releases like with the Amrezy palette um I can't think of all of them but like I would see people on like on Trend Moots page you're like oh it has glitter and nah, never mind I'm like wait like did I miss the memo like why don't people like it like I, I really want to know if, if you know the answer please let me know because I don't understand so for this, it has a little brush head you could just take out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No trap. And I'm just going to place this like right here. I freaking love this. Like I love how convenient this one this is. I really wish that this would have came out when I was super into glitter. Okay, you guys, so this is what the eye kind of looks like. I'll be quite honest, mm, I don't know. I don't think I like what I did here. Like, I'm not liking the blend of it. And because it's glitter, you can't really like, you can't really blend glitter, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do, and what usually helps me out is, I like to kind of stop messing with it do everything else because usually when I do everything else it kind of starts to pull together and then I'm able to kind of complete the look so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys um the completed look all right you guys so that is the completed video the completed look I hope you guys like it I did go and fix some things my eyes watering so I need to wrap this up I don't know why because this never happens to me anymore but it is so I did go fix some things up because I wasn't liking the way that blue was transitioning into the shade I had on my lid so I did take this shade right here and I mixed it with a little bit of that and I put it in the inner corner and it looks so much better. Um, so that's about all that I changed. Did the bottom eyeshadow as usual. I just take what I put on the top. So I just took um, this dark purple mixed with that like blackish looking color, threw it down there. And yeah, you guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, you guys, I try to do some baby hairs. You guys know I do not know how to do baby hairs, okay? So if my lace is looking crazy on camera, <laughs> this HD camera, please just keep the comments to yourself. <laughs> and if you do have some constructive criticism, send me the videos, okay? I will watch the videos. I'm trying to get the hang of this, okay? Like, all of this lace stuff just ain't my forte. <coughs> oh, damn. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. If you're not yet following me on Instagram, follow your girl on Instagram. I need to wrap this up because my eyes water and I have to do my intro. <sighs> yeah, follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. <sighs> what the hell?
hell's going on? Anyways, yes, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you were able to get your hands on this palette. And if you weren't, if you're going to get it when they do the second restock. And, um... Uh, subscribe, yeah. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.